Hello, welcome to another one of my videos. In this video, we're going to let you know how to fault diagnose your battery setup. As you can see from the batteries themselves, the seven batteries in a line, they're all flashing. The flashing light indicates they're charging. And if you look on the inverter, you will see that indeed they are charging. So you can see there, one kilowatt is coming from the solar panels, zero kilowatts is being drawn from the grid. Um, 61 is being consumed in the house and 38 is going back into the solar panels and um, so it's charging fine as you can see they're 80 percent full and they're working well when you get a fault on these one of the cells within each one of these batteries may fail and that will cause one of these batteries to fail your inverter itself would actually flag the fault up and the alarm light will come on which is which is there you can see the alarm light just underneath the green light there and um, so then you'll notice something wrong with one of your batteries normally if you look at the battery lights you'll see there's a run light there's an alarm light and obviously there's a status light state of charge the faulty battery will obviously have an alarm light lit and um, and the way obviously you have to do is you switch all your batteries all off to start off with then you double check your connections you make sure they're all firmly plugged plugged in each one each side you check that side and also you check your earths as well and uh, make sure the screws are tight and etc and your wiring as well when you've eliminated when you've eliminated that and um, you obviously need to find out which battery it is and like i said the battery that it normally is could be a new battery you've put into the stack or even one of the old batteries that are already remaining in the stack the red light will be on you take that particular battery out of the system um, and then you connect them back up as I've showed you in the early videos how to connect the batteries back up set a master up there and set the obviously the other the bot top of the stack there as well so you know how to do that anyway if you look at my other videos so you basically this is basically what it is it's plug and play you take one out have a look if you've got the same fault if you haven't then you take the other one out etc normally the voltage from these batteries is 48 volts um, and what you can do once you find the faulty battery you can take it out and measure the voltage using a digital multimeter set your multimeter to dc and you should get 48 volts coming out if you get any less than that what it means is one of the cells within the battery has died or is faulty thus you're not getting 48 volts so each one of these batteries will be 48 volts coming across anyway um, and this way you can diagnose which is faulty one and which is a working one only on rare occasion do they actually go wrong um, but as a manufacturer themselves give you a 10 year warranty and um, you don't need to really worry about it but sometimes they do go wrong sometimes you get inverter fault as well where you get a wiring fault within the inverter so you have to check all your your negative and your positive connections and your earth connections and especially your bms connection make sure you're all firmly plugged in because these things weigh quite a bit and any knocking can actually upset these cables so you need to check all your cables as well and when you eliminate the fault then you can take that particular battery which is a faulty battery out of the actual setup and then when you obviously switch them back on and they should all work fine and um, any questions message me and please subscribe to my videos um, and then we can obviously go from there and um, thank you very much for watching the video um, any questions um, let me know. Thank you. Bye.